Hello and thanks for joining me today. This is Zoe from MakerCrafty.com and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to use Microsoft Word to resize and crop an image for your card projects. To begin with, I'm going to insert a shape and the rectangle shape and this is going to help me visualize the size of my card. I'm going to make the card 5.5 inches by 4.25 which is a standard size card in the US and I'm going to change the shape fill to no fill so that I can see uh, inside on the inside and obviously I'm just going to leave the border so that I can visually see the size of the card. Okay so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the main image that I'm using. So just go to insert and go to pictures and then find where the image is on your computer. Now I'm going to be using Melody for this particular card. And there she is there. Now, as you can see, I'm trying to move her around, but she's stuck. So the way to free her is to click on this little symbol up here and just click on in front. It doesn't matter which one you click on actually, but I'm going to click on in front of text just like that. And now I can move her around freely. So. I've decided that I just want to use the top portion of her and I'm going to have her coming out of the bottom left hand corner of my card. And so I've just moved her to the bottom there, but I can't quite visualize what this final card is going to look like. Do I need to make her bigger or what should I do? So what a little trick is, is if you go to the insert and you go to shapes, go to your rectangle again. You can just try and help yourself visualize what it would look like. I'm just going to insert another one by creating a mask, a temporary mask. So I'm going to put these two rectangles over this area. Now, if you wanted to, you could put them all the way around if you've got like a big image that you're doing. But I'm just going to do it on this corner here. I'm going to select this one and then I'm going to hold down my shift key and select the second one and then I'm going to right click on that and group them together just like this and that means I can move them together if I wanted to now so I'm going to that still doesn't really help me visualize I mean the blue is sort of in the way isn't it so I'm going to click on these and go to the format and then I'm going to change my shape fill to white and then I'm going to change the outline to no outline so now I can see We'll get a better idea of what she will actually look like when she gets printed out. Just to help me, I'm just going to bring this other one to the for, to the uh, forward, to the front. So I'm just going to have selected it like here, and I'm going to right click on it, and then I'm going to bring to front like that. So now I can see my frame, I can see Melody, and you can not see the outside of the card. So the great thing about doing this is now I can actually move her around and go, oh, do I want top of her knees in there or do I want to bring her across to the middle like so? And you can, it's a lot easier to visualize what she will look like at the end. Okay, so now I think I'm going to put her just in the corner like so and I'm going to put my sentiment at the top here later, I think. I just can't decide, should I make her a little bit bigger? I might make her a little bit bigger. So the trick with resizing is you always grab the corner because then it will resize your image proportionately. If you grab one of these sides, see how she's getting squished and she doesn't look as nice? I'm just going to undo that. So now I'm going to just make her a little bit bigger and move her down into that corner like that. I think I like that, I think that looks good. So, what do we do now? Because we're gonna waste a whole lot of paper if we print this image out just like this. So the trick is, you select your image, we go to the format, and look for this option here, the crop tool. Click on that crop tool, and see how you've got all these new corner markings. What we wanna do is we wanna look for the symbol that looks like a T. See how this T? You don't want the cross symbol, arrow symbol. Wait, let's see if I can get the arrow symbol. It's not gonna give me that now, is it? Oh, there we go. 
but be careful you don't get that arrow symbol because otherwise you're going to resize the image and not actually crop it. So look for that T symbol, select that T symbol and when you move it you should see that grey cover the actual image and that's showing you that you're cropping the image. We're going to bring that up to our line here and let's do the same over here looking for that T symbol again and we go like this and we're going to crop her like that. So now we can actually delete our masking that we did earlier. So I'm going to hit the delete button and we can select melody and we can select our frame and we can right click and group them together. So now we can move this to anywhere on our page and we can make sure that we're going to have enough space to be able to put another image there and we'll be able to put more images here. We can make four cards. So there you go. That's how you mask an image in Microsoft Word. I hope it's been helpful. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer. Bye for now.